Greetings friends, I just wanted to make a quick video showing you these bearings that just turned up. I'm still waiting for a couple of bits, so I won't be doing the full video yet. Uh, 6005, made in Poland, that's disappointing. I was hoping they'd be made in Japan, but I guess it doesn't make any difference. And then here's the little ditty one, 6003. So this is obviously a replacement for that. It's knackered, you can feel it's a little bit loose inside, so let's have a look at this beauty. That one that one doesn't feel sort of totally smooth, it, it's more like very solid. So, oh well, I'm sure it's going to do the job. That, that one's still, it, it's smooth, but it's not wazzing around in the way I expected it to. That's the old one and the new one. But the old one, that is well knackered. So I just thought I'd show you that. I haven't finished uh, cleaning out the inside of this yet, so I won't be putting it in yet, but that one goes in there. And that's 17 mil in the middle and 35 mil on the outside, and it's 10 mil deep. So that goes on one side. And this is the wire side of the hub, which is why the central spindle is actually 25 mil rather than uh, 17 mil <coughs> excuse me that's 12 mil deep and that that will go in there but before it does uh, that all needs sanding out properly so that's the bearings So here's the rotor, and I'm going to try and insert a bit of an old video just to show you how bad it was. To get the magnet rotor separated from the stator, which is an absolute mission, and I just want to show you how absolutely outrageously filthy it is. It's a lot better now. Still you can see, particularly around this side, there is a lot of pitting on the magnets. This side not so bad, but the other side really bad. I'll show you what I've been doing. I've got some 120 grit wet and dry. And let's find a really bad bit. Here you can see this is the the worst side, so I'll just basically pick one. And then we use some uh, duct tape. Get about a four inch strip, and that will pick up a lot of dust out of the inside of the motor. You notice that squeaking sound is when it starts becoming clean and the tape is sticking better to the stuff. You'll notice there's a slight build up of powder in between the magnets. Again, we'll get the tape. So yeah, that's how, that's how I've been doing that. And that's probably at about four hours. That's the rotor. So this is the stator assembly, not as cruddy as the other bit. Now what I decided to do with the stator was remove the hall sensors. You can see their remnants on that side and that side. I don't know why it's had two, it has two. So the only wires we've got in here now 
the only wires we've got in here now are the three phase wires essentially and they've been unclipped to give me access to try and uh, clean up all the bits inside you'll see like that bit there so it's looking a lot better particularly the outside uh, with with this I've just been doing exactly the same process and this has had hours and hours done on it the lines go uh, I can't remember what they're called the plates are all stacked so the lines are all going that way I'll just zoom in a sec see if you can see the lament they're not lamentations are they that's something you do when you're sad so Make sure to keep switching the paper around. Again, tape. So there, that's how they're going. Uh, I've got the bearings now. I'm still waiting for the gasket paste and then we can uh, finish putting it together. So cheers, bye for now. So there's a close up of where the uh, hall sensor was. So I will need to trim these off. I just need to make sure I don't do any damage to these data. There's the cables. Uh, that one you can see, very strange soldering on that. Uh, there's the fat end of the axle, which takes the 25 mil bearing. We'll get onto the water issue when we rebuild the motor. But yeah, all, all this needs cleaning out a bit more, but it's a lot better. And this was covered in rust. I'll try and put a clip in, show you what it was like at the start. Sweet, I'm going to put a load of photos at the end. Thank you all. And great news, the sealant is here that I'm using for the motor rebuild, blah, blah, blah. It's supposed to be quite good stuff. Sweet.